when you meditate, you want to bring your mind to the present moment. Because it's right here that you're making your decisions. And so you want to be on top of those decisions, see them clearly, and come from a place of well-being while you're watching. So focus on the breath. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths and notice where you feel the breathing. And if long breathing feels comfortable, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change to shorter breathing, more shallow, faster, slower, heavier, lighter. Find a way of breathing that feels good right now, all the way down through the body. Because when they talk of breath, it's not just the in and out breath. There's an energy that flows through the body as well. And those are connected. And you want that energy to flow well, because that gives you a good place to stay. So when things come up in the mind, for the time being, you just let them go. You stay with the breath. Learn how to just let whatever thought comes in, let it pass, let it pass, let it pass. Because that's going to be your default mode. A thought comes up, and then you want to be in a position where you can decide, do I want to follow through with this thought or not? A lot of things come into the mind that are actually bad for you. You want to be able to say no to them, and you want to have a good place to go when you say no. Otherwise, they'll pull you along. So you stay with the breath. Stay with the sensation of the breath energy in the body. And thought comes by and that tells you to hop in, you can say, well, where are you going? And if you don't like the place where the person's going, well, you can let, it go, let the person drive on. If it's something that really is worth thinking about, something that you have to plan for, something you have to remember, okay, you make your decision based on what's for your long-term welfare and happiness. Is that, the Buddha said, is a sign of wisdom. Well, too often we just go for the quick fix. A little pleasure here, a little pleasure there. We don't care about where it leads. But then when, when we get to where it leads, we don't like it. So you have to go back to the beginning and say, okay, from now on, whatever thought comes in, I'm going to go with the thought only if it leads to true well-being. Anything else that gets in the way that's harmful to myself or harmful to other people, just let it go, let it go. It's like you're cleaning out the house inside. And you're putting mindfulness and alertness in charge. Mindfulness is what remembers what's right and what's wrong. Alertness is what's watching what's actually happening. And if you're ardent about this, if you really pay serious attention to your actions, then you find that you're shaping a much better life. So it all starts right here with these very simple things, staying with the breath. Mind wanders up, we'll bring it back. Get so that it's more used to being here than it is to wandering around. Each time it comes back, reward it with a nice, comfortable, comfortable breath. So it feels good about returning. And then one will be willing to settle down. And then you're in the right position to see what's being produced here in the present moment and to exert some quality control. So that the life you produce through your thoughts and your words and deeds is a good life. A life that brings happiness to yourself, brings happiness to the people around you. because you're taking care of the source of all things. Your choice is right here, right now. When they're in good shape, then things will follow in good shape as well. <laughs>